Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to show you a sneaky way to get an enemy to move back and forth. So let's get to it. Before I begin, if you like watching the game dev process or learning how to make games yourself, smash that like button, hit the subscribe. If I was going to make an enemy move back and forth, I would use the wave node. If you have not used the wave node before, it's a great node. I have multiple videos talking about it, but here we can see the enemy is moving back and forth. Very simple. On the next level, I even have the wave node where the enemy is moving up and down. This is pretty straightforward. The sneaky aspect, what I did was I made a separate object right here we can see it it's invisible it's called wave x and it's specific to move the object in the x direction looking at the wave x object we can see that there is literally nothing going on i had deleted the 3d model to create the outline box and there's nothing happening here but this enemy is a kinematic enemy which is also used here so I'm using the same object, but moving it here in the X direction, and in this scene, the Y direction. And I'm able to do that because of these if collide nodes. Let me delete this because. So here we can see that if the kinematic enemy comes into contact with the wave Y object or the wave X object, will determine how it moves. So we move it down over here and we can see that this is a wave speed of 1.5 in the Y direction of two. And this is also a wave speed of 1.5 in moving in the Y coordinates of two. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this just a tiny bit. And here we can see this is random of the X direction moving negative two at the speed of 1.5. And this is in the positive X direction of two, 1.5. I say this is kind of a sneaky way because I can keep these cubes and they will only move in the X wave direction if they come in contact with this object. You can see throughout this game development, like this level right here, these objects do not move. There is no other object touching it. Here you can see the ability to have one object do multiple things. I'm very proud of this. It seems like a sneaky way to have objects that cause certain enemy objects to move or not move depending on what I want to do. You don't have to do this. You can automatically add the wave nodes to the enemy objects themselves. But for me, when making a level, sometimes I want the enemy object to move. Sometimes I don't want it to move. It depends on on the level and this allows me that flexibility without creating another enemy object that is just straight kinetic and doesn't move. Hope you find this useful. Let me know. Hit that like button and subscribe. Don't forget that little bell as I put out content all the time. Keep making games, stay safe in these weird times, and I will see you later. Peace.